chapter 11. This is the recorded words of Jesus. I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. So let me just stop right there. So this is a threefold declaration that is all saying the same thing. Prayers will be answered. Ask, seek, knock. They're all about prayer and it forms a trilogy to emphasize when you pray, God's going to answer your prayers. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Now, Jesus doubles down. So not only does he use a, a trilogy to insist that prayers will be answered, now he flips it and he says the exact same thing again. Now that is an oratory technique that was part of the rabbinical tradition. And so when we find it here in Luke, <laughs> what Jesus is saying is, when you pray, your prayers will be answered. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If then you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So the Lord Jesus Christ emphasizes as strongly as possible that our Heavenly Father will answer our prayers. He will do it. When we pray according to his word, not according to our whims, but according to what is good. You see, God is good. And what he reveals in his word is good. And he says, pray for what is good. And it's encapsulated here in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And the presence of the Holy Spirit is the whole nine yards. It's, it's communion with God. It's life with God. It's life in God and God with us. So it's not just a, a narrow view of the Holy Spirit here. And so when we judge whether or not God has answered our prayers based on, well, what do I experience right here, right now in this life? When we judge God's word being to be truthful or neglectful based on my personal experience of whether or not I've received the things I've asked for, we, we, we've kind of emptied this promise of Jesus out because this promise is that God is going to fulfill every promise he makes to us. When we pray for God to answer the promises he's made for us, Jesus says, oh, those prayers will be answered. There is a new heaven and a new earth coming. And there is a communion with God between us and the Lord that we have never known in, in experience, existentially. Oh, but we will know it and we will live in it forever. That is the answer to all our prayers.